Hey, YTPC. Hump day. Hump day. Freak Piper Skip. Piping artist stuff. What's your name, dude? Uh, piping artist son. <laughs> piping artist son. That's the Arlo Neptune. Arlo, reach in and say hi. Yo. Yo. We'll be back right after this. sure exactly how much of our video got recorded because my phone kind of went wonky but I'm smoking my baby Wellington he's smoking his 7 LE Prince so if the rest of the video didn't show up it is C&D's Gentleman Caller from 2017 from Sue Dunhill and um, it's a Virginia and mixed with a bunch of stuff it's a burly Virginia Perique deer foot oh my gosh look how long my hair has gotten I don't know if you guys remember when I first started this channel, my hair was like short, like above my ears, like the top part was long. I had shaved my head. I tend to do that when something gets rocky in my life. I tend to shave my head. I've done that like four times in my life. And um, did that during my divorce. And look how long it's gotten. That means you're happy, yeah? I am happy my hair is growing. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna talk about a couple of things. Um, First, everything is better in jammies. <laughs> Second, skip. I'm gonna put some pictures right here, right there. Beep, 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 beep. Here, uh, Skip put up a new uh, bug zapper. It's so exciting. I'm yeah. I'm excited because I'm tired of being eaten alive by the skeeters in Texas. Yeah, and uh, blood suckers love me. I tell you, they can't get enough of me. Also, I've really like gotten into snuff. Okay, so Sue Dunhill brought me this teeny tiny little spoon. It's so cool. Look, it even has a little, little cross on it. And she brought me this little tiny tin of snuff. And then I've watched some videos of some YTPC members that also were like making their own snuff, growing their own tobacco and making some snuff. Any of you guys know some of the YTPC members that are actually selling some of their homegrown, home um, blended snuffs? Let me know. I just bought some chocolate and vanilla and a peanut butter flavor. I, I don't know what it's gonna be like, but I'm super excited. Um, when I, I also still smoke cigarettes. So when I go to work, I'm there for anywhere from four to seven hours. And when I do snuff, I don't want a cigarette even on my break. And I don't even have a cigarette before I go to work so that, you know, I don't smell like cigarettes. And I, I don't even have a craving for cigarettes until one or two in the afternoon. So I'm liking it. Like I needed more addictions. <laughs> so, so we have summer coming to an end. Um, one of our boys is working at a vet clinic, and our second to oldest boy might be working there by the end of next month. Yeah, so we got two boys that might be working. Um, Bree has decided to stay in homeschool, and she wants to check out some other avenues, maybe some voice acting or um, culinary school or something. Well, she'll figure it out. And we're in absolute support of that. Um, Duncan's a senior. Yep. He has decided to join the Navy. He is doing phenomenal. We'll keep you updated on that. What about you? How's, how's everything going for you? Uh, great. Works good. Uh, I'm enjoying it. Uh, I was challenged today. Uh, how, how so? Uh, I was having to test some equipment that I haven't tested in a while, and uh, I'm, I'm the only one that knows how to do it. Uh, I did a lot of things today. A lot of it was showing other people how to do stuff, but that's kind of my role uh, at where I'm at, so, uh, so I feel good about it. Traffic was not terrible. Well, it's traffic. It's Houston. You can't expect the best. But when it's less than horrible you're blessed 
Um, I, I met up with some girlfriends this week and one of them has a four month old baby. Okay, that baby threw up like five times, pooped its diaper and like exploded out of its diaper onto its mom's shirt and onto the uh, everything. <laughs> and I have to say, love this baby, cutest can be, but I am so grateful that we can't have any more because I'm, I'm ready for the grandparent stage where I'm like, mm, the baby poop, change the diaper, son, daughter, whoever, whose ever child it is, I ain't changing the diaper. I, I'm pretty done with that. <laughs> it was, I have to say, I was not, I didn't miss that part. So those of you still having babies, God bless your soul. Also, um, what else do we have going on? We have three concerts coming up. Oh, yeah. Yep, Super excited. Do. We have one comedy concert, two music concerts. Yeah, so the first one is called, his name is That One Guy. And if you haven't checked out That One Guy, Birds is one of his songs. And which one, Moon? The Moon is Disgusting. The Moon is Disgusting is another one of his songs. We're taking all of our kids into that concert. And then we're going to go see Morrissey. Morrissey. And then we've decided we're going to go ahead and... Balls of all, we're gonna go see these two twin brothers, the conservative twins, comedy act here in Houston. I, I don't know how it's gonna be. I don't know if we might have to bail out early and run for our lives, because <laughs> these guys are even more conservative than us, and they're hilarious. But anyways, we're going to see those guys. So we have several things coming up. Um, Arlo is turning 15, so we're gonna go to the shooting range. We're going to shoot some guns. Guns. Anything else you got to say? This is really tasty tobacco. This is very tasty. I'm enjoying this. And uh, I, I like the way it burns. It's, it's not sticky. It's, it's got a semi-sweet um, like um, aftertaste. It's semi-sweet. It's, it's not, and it doesn't even have, it's not an aromatic, so it's pretty pretty. I think it's got some topping to it. You think? I think so, but but it's not overwhelming, you know. Also, we bought these really cool drinks for our kiddos, and one of them, let me see that one, son. One of them is called um, Crackberry. Like, we, we let our kids drink at home if they're going to want to try it, but, you know, whatever. And we're in Texas, so. Yeah, so as long as they're drinking at home and they have one. So, um, we've been trying to actually lay off the drink on a regular basis. We only drink once in a while, and I've been brewing tea like nobody's business, putting all kinds of different teas together, and then icing it up, and it's been really tasty. But, coolest thing today, I went to our liquor store, bought some whiskey. The power was out. So, the guy was like, hey, no problem, give me your phone number, I'll write down what you want. You take it home, I'll call you tomorrow, you can come in tomorrow, I'll pay for it. He trusted us enough to take yeah. a bottle and a pack of smokes home and a cigar. Cool guy. Yeah. His what is his name? It's um I don't know what his name is. Elio, Elio, E L I O, Elio, I think. Oh we got cool oh, yeah. I wanna show this off. So it's like if you take my half you have to go up further. If you take my half and it's like a puzzle piece that fits into her half and it creates a heart. It's because you have a heart on for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that too much? I do, baby. <laughs> well, YTPC members and family and friends, you guys, we hope you have a great week. It's Wednesday, and we hope that you guys make it till Friday. Whatever Friday you may end up with. We've got some good news and crazy news, and everything's good and bad. But hey, keep on keeping on. Keep chooching. And uh, sweet chicken, as Mel says. You guys have a great one. Cheers. Cheers.